you built this from scratch and put it all together. What, what do we have here with the TX? Well, it's TX is for Turbine Experimental, mm. and it was a Group 6 prototype, the type of cars that run at Le Mans, Sebring, and Daytona. This is the poster for Daytona, raced against the Ford factory GT40 and the Porsche and the Ferrari team. So, it, so a little car out of Palatine is with against Ferrari and Ford's best. Yeah, remarkable, isn't it? <laughs> I am Lou, another special episode of My Car Story. So we have Bob McKee here. Bob, good to see you again. We're in Bob McKee's time capsule now. If you don't know who Bob McKee is, it's going to be a little history lesson because he has a lot of Indianapolis 500s, well as racing and sports and motor car history. So we're going to start with some of the details, and I think you'll be fascinated as we get the chance to talk to Bob. He's kind of a humble guy, so I may have to pull some things out of him, but that'll be all right. So, yeah. so what I've got in the pictures behind us is, is I asked Bob, I said, how did it all start? So Bob, how did it kind of get started? Well, I just was a hot rod kid in high school and built a bunch of hot rods. What was your first one? Uh, 1929 Model A pickup truck. And what happened to that? Well, I put a V8 in it and uh, <laughs> uh, Dick arranged for me to get this car to take care of for him to drive. And uh, this now, is the now car. Now what did Dick do? How was his racing background? Well, he was pole position at Indy and yeah. set a track not too record bad, in Not too bad, not too bad pole position at Indy. It's basically the McKee transmission. Yeah, the McKee transaction. Exactly. So you put the transmission together that started winning major races. Yeah, uh, it okay. it had a, a Ford ring and pinion yeah. and a Borg Warner transmission. You said this is a car that you made, period. I mean, this is the McKee Trihawk. Tell me well, about that. Actually, Lou Richards was the guy that we built it for. It'll corner at .91 G's, <laughs> which a Porsche and uh, a Ferrari can corner at that speed with the tires that they have. Yes. And we could be the same, but all the other cars at that time couldn't go near that fast. Indianapolis and Pontiac and so many cars and so many things that you've done People you've met, astronauts, uh, Paul Newman, uh, uh, one of the Smothers Brothers, right? They all come in here, and, and this is where it all kind of hangs out at. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> this picture here, who's this guy here? Well, that's probably a well-known guy, too. Uh, this is Paul Newman. Yeah, I've heard of him. In the movie <laughs> Winning. <laughs> my, my son knows him because of, like, salad dressing. Oh, right. But yeah, right, okay. <laughs> and in the movie Winning, now, what was your role in the movie Winning? Well, this car is the car that he drove in that okay. movie. Number 25. And when he drove it, uh, I was too busy building those turbine cars here. Yeah. And never even got to go up and watch him make the movie. But Right. But you built that car and built that frame for him. Yeah. So Paul Newman, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't even have a racing background until you sat him in one of your cars. What we're looking at here is, is the Gerhardt Indy car that we built. Uh, Jim Rathman... Gus Grissom and Gordon Cooper were the owners of the car. And Grissom and Cooper were seven, two of the original seven astronauts. And interesting to get to know them. And uh, they've been to the shop and visited. And this was a car that we built for Exide Willard Railvac Battery Company. Okay. And uh, we built two of these cars. And uh, when we first built it, we thought it, the right thing to do is to make a backbone down the center of it okay. that all the batteries could roll into. So we made a battery tray with, with wheels on it so it would roll in and latch. And then it could roll out under a service cart so you mm -hmm. could change batteries in five minutes. Well, I got a number of patents on that. Tell me about the Mechanics Illustrated cover shot there. Well, that so picture was taken in Palatine, and Tom McCahill came and did a road test on the car, and he said it was the first practical electric car that he knew of. The first practical electric car from Mechanics Illustrated, that's a pretty high honor. This kind of sums it all up of, of you. Tell me what that is. Well, that was uh, 
a Lifetime Achievement Award that Road and Track gave me up at Elkhart Lake, which was really a nice gesture, and I'm proud of that.